Good morning, everyone. Greetings. Today, oh, huh. yes, we are taking $20 today, and we're going to turn it into a four-person meal. Oh, yeah. So Jess is going to explain what we're doing. We're going to take $20 and turn it into a four-person meal. <laughs> we're going to take kidding. we're going to take you into Kroger with us. We're going to show you the products that we're buying. Yeah, I want to make a meal like a whole dinner that you can make for your family of four, hopefully. Um if it's more than, you know, might not be $20, but um for $20 or less. Trying to make a dinner on a budget, I guess. Yeah. And in, a, in a day in a time where it's hard to do these yeah, days. Yeah, where you're trying to I stretch think we your can dollar. Still do it. So, and I wanted to do it for four people instead of two people because I feel like most people have at least one kid or two kids or something like that, or they're feeding like a, you know, a mother or something like that. Um, so that way it goes a little bit further and it's not just for two people. Cause I know two people, a meal could be a lot cheaper than if you have to feed a family. Yeah. And I realize that some people probably have bigger families, but you know, we'll, we'll have a lot of leftovers um, and that's yeah. always so, I'm going to get the ingredients, and hopefully everything's under $20. And I'm not including, like, salt and pepper and spices and things we like that. We assume everybody has that um, stuff. You did say you're yeah. using garlic powder. I'm going to use garlic powder. We're so, not going to include that. Yeah. But I'm hoping that maybe we'll just be under $20, and then we can just kind of go in the spice aisle, and I could say, hey, if you need garlic powder, this is how much it would cost if you needed to buy it. Yeah. So, like, if you didn't happen to have that in your pantry, I feel like most people do, but... Um, we'll look at the cheapest yeah, options. So we're going to try too. to stay completely under $20 for the entire dinner for four people. So can we do it? I think so. Let's get to it. Okay. So we are going to get some of these little red potatoes here, but I think we figured out we need to know what we're making. Well, they I'm need to know. I'm going to make beef dips and noodles <laughs> and red potatoes. And red potatoes. So I'm going to make the beef mixture all in the crock pot and then i'll probably cook the noodles separate just because i feel like it's easier to just boil them on the stove than yeah. to put them in the pot and then i cook the potatoes in the microwave so it's pretty easy and then it all just comes together and then yes and we are you know it's the one time these little potatoes aren't on sale um, of course not and we could get the problem is is that we need we like the smaller ones okay but they do have the ones that are single but they're real big they're, they don't have any little tiny ones like this of course they're going to be 3.99 but i these will be on sale next week after we make this so we'll just count it as 3.99 because that's how much we're paying yep. for it hopefully the other ingredients are cheaper and right. we can stay under 20 but yeah we're trying right next ingredient egg noodles extra wide now, I probably won't use this entire package, but I would just use your judgment on how many you think like your entire family would eat, um, because this is a huge bag. Yeah. I <laughs> so I probably might use like three fourths of this, maybe just half of it. Um, but these are dollar seventy nine. Dollar seventy nine. How many is in there, or what size is that? This One is pound. A pound bag. Yes. This recipe does call for beef broth now we use the beef bouillon cubes which we already have at home but we are adding in the price $1.99 for that and it really goes the distance this is the way to go but I wanted to show you if you want to bypass that save an extra 50 cents or if you don't like using bouillon they do have the Kroger broth here which is pretty good even the 50% less sodium that's the one we usually use if we do but we've been using bouillon for everything dollar 49 for this but you, it's 32 ounces so you'll get four cups out of this you need two cups for this recipe so you'd have to put half for this in the fridge or something bouillon's the way to go though if you ask me okay so we need the beef tips this is about a pound and a half now it is 7.99 a pound so it is not on yeah, sale it's not on sale but you can probably I do find a better deal. take this. You probably can find it cheaper. Um, but I'm gonna like cut this up into tinier pieces, yeah. so it'll go a longer. She's way. gonna show you how to um, do all. Yeah, that. we'll put it all together. But yeah. I'm gonna definitely cut like these big chunks. Yeah. This will probably be like six or eight pieces out of just that one piece there. Right. Um, because you want it to be smaller pieces so that it cooks better in the crock pot. Yes. Okay, guys. Well, we have made it back home. And Jess is ready to get it going here. Oh, yeah. We have added 
an extra light here. One thing, if you do YouTube videos and you do cooking as a show, I would make sure you have a bunch of extra light. Yeah. We're going to try to see if we can get some lights to go like under the cabinet because yeah. there's no light here. Right. And most people have a light under their cabinet. Yeah. Um, and it just gets really dark right here when you're <laughs> right. trying to film something. But well, Let's get um, into it here. What do we got? Okay. So I have the... Uh, first, I wanted to say, after we bought everything, like including, I did add the cost of the beef broth in there, um, even though I already had it, just in case somebody didn't have it and wanted to buy everything. Um, it came to like eighteen thirty eight, so it was Still under twenty dollars. Yeah, and that's also with us paying the full price for the potatoes because they weren't on sale. So you could potentially get it cheaper if you found the potatoes on sale. Or the meat on sale. So, that was... I don't think anything that we got was on sale at all. <laughs> no, yeah. It was a bad um, day. That's why we always talk about buying up the sales yeah. as you see them. And obviously <laughs> that doesn't include, like, your salt and pepper and garlic powder. But I feel like garlic powder, if you had to buy it, is only like a buck or something. So, it still would be pretty much under $20. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to say that because I added that in there. Um, just for the total cost that you would know how right. much the meal cost. Yes. And that's um, not including salt and pepper. No, I just said that. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so since the meat is in, like, big chunks, I'm going to... I have a pair of kitchen scissors that I use for meats and stuff. Meats and chicken. Um, and I'm going to cut this up into, like, smaller pieces. Probably, like, cut and then cut. Because you want... In some of them, you might even have to cut again. Because you want it to be small enough... Since we're going to put it in the crock pot, we want it to get tender. And it might still get tender if it's bigger pieces, but I've always cut it up. And I feel like when it's smaller, it, I don't know, like the smaller pieces tend to like all cook evenly in the same way if they're all the same size versus yeah. how these come in like big hefty chunks. Right. Um, but I'm going to cut all of this down into smaller pieces so that we can put it in the crock pot with the juices. Um, but first I'm going to cut it and then... I'm going to season it and I sear my meat first before I put it in the crock pot because I feel like it gives it extra flavor yeah. to the meat. So I'm going to cut all this up and then we'll show you when we get to that step. Also wanted to quickly mention, so you put two cubes in here, right? So um, when I use bouillon? bouillon cubes, if I need two cups, most of the time I'll put like an extra cube in there just because I like to have the extra flavor. Yeah. So I needed two cups, so I used three cubes. Um, you know, that's all like a personal preference. You can still just use two, but I like like the flavor of the juice, so I just made sure I had enough of the juicy like beef flavor. Yeah. So I put three in there. Um, but yeah, so we these are the cubes that we have. We already have cubes, yeah. so I showed these um, earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Well worth it. Dollar ninety nine for this. Oh, yeah. That's going to like, really go the distance. What does it say? Like twenty five cups. Yeah. Depending on like how you use them, obviously maybe a little less because I use some more. I use a couple more <laughs> than I need to. But right. So now I have them all cut up in a little <laughs> bitty chunks. Now we're going to put them into the pan, not oh. the crock pot. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're gonna cook them. And sear, them. sear them up. So I'm going to season them while they're in here. You could uh, pour, put these in like a bowl and like shake it around in the seasoning, however you want to do it. I'm just going to season it in the pot. <laughs> It'll be easier. So you have it on a medium so, high. Or? Yeah. However, your stove. Yeah. Our stove tends Ours to cook like very extra hot. hot. Yeah. yeah. So we got it on like a me in between. Medium and high, so. So I'm just salting and peppering and garlic powder because it gives it a little bit of good flavor into the meat. I just noticed Frank in the sink there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. See him over there? See him. That means hubby doesn't do dishes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> and so we're just, gonna, I'm just kind of mixing it around. So the garlic sure powder, salt, and pepper. Pepper. Salt and pepper, garlic powder, and that's it. I mean, obviously, if you like other seasonings, you could do whatever you, however you like. Yeah. I just like the You want it to come out perfect, them. this is what you do. Then. Well, yeah, you could do it however, <laughs> however you like. Um, Jess has made I'm just this kinda, 
Oh, sorry. oh yeah, sorry. I was going to say, Jess has made this before, and it is absolutely yeah. it's fantastic. It's actually been a while since I've made it. It's been a long time. Probably um, since last winter. I'm just kind of trying to get them all in at least a, a semi-flat yeah. row so that they can cook. And it is um, 8 degrees out right now, so yeah, this makes for a good, warm meal on a freezing cold day. Oh, yeah. Looking quite nicely. Yeah. <laughs> so really, we're just kind of browning it. It's probably pretty much done right now. Um, I just like to get the extra flavor into the meat um, by giving it a little bit of a brown first before I put it in the crock pot. Yeah. And this is like stew meat, so, you know, this is the kind of meat that really needs to, like, sit and simmer in something for a long time to kind of break down and get nice and tender. Yeah. Um, so, that's why it's going to sit in the crock pot for a while. <laughs> yeah. How long does this take? Um, so, I'm going to put this along with the ju uh, the beef broth in the crock pot, and that's going to sit in there for five hours. Five hours? On high? And on high. Okay. And then I'm going to cook the noodles on the stove because I, I know some people probably cook it all together, but I like to have it separate and then just pour the, yeah. the beef on top of it. Um, and then I'll make the potatoes on the side as well. Yes. Um, so basically we're just using the crock pot just to let this slow cook all day long so I don't have to sit here and babysit it all day. <laughs> right. Because you can do it on the stove. It would just take a long time probably to make sure that it, um, you know, gets nice and tender. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty delicious. So now I'm going to add two cups of the beef broth into the bottom of here. My bouillon cube rest in there. And then I'm going to add... This entire pan, including all of the juices, because that's yeah. good flavor in there. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Just like that. And we're going to let this... I have a giant slow cooker, sorry. <laughs> um, we're just going to let this baby slow cook for five hours. Five and get that hours. meat nice and tender. Yeah. Okay, well, it has been five hours. And we are back. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut up my potatoes. I think I'm just going to half them. Yeah. And put them in a bowl with some butter and just microwave them because I'm lazy. <laughs> um, Sometimes I'm, she'll do roasted sure potatoes. Sure, there's other but... ways you can do it. I just like, you know, I like these type of potatoes. They're nice. They're good when they cook and they're nice and um, soft on the inside. Um, I washed them already. And I'm just... Uh, having them and put them in here yes and i have the water boiling on the stove and i'm going to pop the noodles in there in a second mm -hmm. once i cut these up okay it's noodle time <laughs> <laughs> um i just i have the boiling water in there already I, I don't know that i need this whole bag i think i'm just gonna use like about half of it it's a one pound bag yeah. of extra large is it extra large? Kind of no, extra yeah, wide. extra wide noodles. Uh oh. Just kind of depends on how many you want. I have about that much left, so I'll just yeah. save about that much, and we can use it for yeah. butter noodles or something. Sure. Yeah, we're gonna let those go. There we go. So I don't know that I mentioned this before, but we have a, gr a brown gravy packet. Um, I don't think I added that in the cost, but they're usually like a dollar. Um, I just like to put it in here to kind of thicken up the the juices a little bit since it's kind of runny. Um, so I'm just going to pour it in there and mix it all up and let it thicken up in the gravy. Yeah. And it's just beef gravy <laughs> mix. Yeah. So. Should thicken up quite nicely. Should thicken up, yeah. Noodles are dumped. Time to plate it up. Yes. All right, guys, here is the finished product. Got the beef over the noodles here, and that uh, packet of brown gravy, if you dump that in and mix it in, it really does thicken it up. Got the potatoes right here. This was pretty, how long did you nuke these for? Um, I kind of just kept doing it until they got soft on the inside. Yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe like six minutes total. Okay. Yeah. I was just kind of judging because I didn't know how long they would really take. Yeah. I gotta say that looks, looks fantastic. Time to try. Okay, moment of truth. Here we go. Good? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay.
Fantastic. Well, that was delicious. Jess, you were one heck of a cook. Oh, yeah. I mean, guys, that is amazing. <laughs> uh, now, I will say that for what we put in it, it'll feed four people. Mm -hmm. And it really stuffs you. Yeah. It really does. Like, it, you don't need much uh, much noodles. We probably put more meat on our helping than yeah. what most people well, would. Well, <laughs> and also, I was going to say, um, you if you only use, like, one package of the meat, you may not need to go for four hours or you may just want... Or five hours, you may just want to turn it on low. Um, because After ours like kind of, like... It got really tender and started to just kind of shred apart. So it was more shredded than like actual tips. Um, I was just going to say, you may just not want to cut it up as small. Like I cut ours kind of fine. Yeah. Um, because I think it still would cook. Um, but it was really good either way. <laughs> so. Yeah. So if you, yeah, if you don't cut it, I think that it's, it's probably going to do the same thing. Cause after five hours yeah, of cooking it, cooking for so long in the, I do, Hot. I do feel like it came together better though, like by cutting it up like you did. Yeah, I don't know. It, it really. I don't know. It's hard to say because I always cut it up, so I don't really know how it would work if you didn't cut the big pieces up. I feel like it probably still would do the same thing. Yeah. Um, just because you know anything that you're slow cooking for a long period of time. <laughs> Is just bound to break down after so long yeah. of cooking. So, and I did like, I don't know, it was, it was a little less than an hour, maybe like 30 minutes left. I turned it down to low instead of high. Yeah. Um, but I also feel like my crock pot was way bigger than what I needed for this recipe. Yeah. So if I had a smaller one, it probably would have been fine for the whole five hours. But um, mine, I probably, it, I kind of did like a double recipe in there. And you can do that. You could double everything. Obviously, mm -hmm. it won't be under $20. But One thing you can do is you can, if you have a membership to Sam's Club or Costco, both places sell stew meat already cut up. Mm -hmm. Four ninety eight a pound. It's usually between four ninety eight a pound and five twenty eight a pound. You do have to buy a little bit in bulk, but you're going to save significantly and save some, free some for another meal. Yeah, and you'll save a lot more. Or if this, you have a bigger family and you need that much, it's probably a better deal to get it there than yeah to buy like multiple packs at Kroger like we did. Yeah, you could add. Well, no, we only bought. Well, the, I meant like we just bought the one pounds. pack. But yeah, it was still. one one and a half pounds is what we <clears> used, and it was seven ninety nine a pound, and that's pretty expensive. But again, like if you have a membership to Costco or Sam's Club, or if whatever supermarket you shop at has this on sale, it would be a good time to buy it when it's a little cheaper, and that will make it way under $20. A little bit of this goes a long way. Oh, yeah. And, and adding that gravy packet into it really thickens it up, mm -hmm. too. So if you don't want the thickness, maybe leave the packet yeah, out. If you don't, excuse me, if you don't mind, like, if it's a little thin, thinner... You don't have to add the gravy packet. I just did just to thicken it up a little bit. I do feel like next time I might only add like half a packet just yeah. so that it was it's really not thick. as thick. Yeah. But I think what happened was um, a lot of our liquid, because it cooked for so long, which is funny because normally it doesn't like evaporate in a crock pot. But I feel like because it cooked so long and I did open it a couple of times to kind of stir it just to make sure the meat was like evenly cooking in there. Yeah. Um, a lot of the liquid like was gone. So there was really only a probably, a I wouldn't bit. even say a cup no, in there a cup. Yeah, like um, a left cup. over. And I started with two cups. So we tried it though without the packet and yeah, it was still, it was really, still really good really without good. it. Yeah. I just wanted to thicken it up a little bit. Um, and you could also just use like some cornstarch or flour and whatever. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of different ways that you can do it if you didn't want to add the gravy packet. Yeah. Um, but we just, <clears throat> excuse me, we just did just to add, a, you know, just to thicken it just a little bit so that it wasn't so liquidy. But you really don't have to do that because I feel like even if we had just turned it off, that liquid that we had left, which wasn't much, probably would have just thickened up anyway with it just sitting there yeah. in the in the pot. Right, so. sitting on warm or something. But yeah, guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video today. Give this recipe a try. Mm -hmm. Less than twenty dollars. Get it on sale. If you get it on sale, yeah, it's well worth. Be way those less potatoes were three ninety nine. We usually pay half that price. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and you could get you know if you pick them out. You could uh, get little ones. They just didn't have any small no. ones at our Kroger. So, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.